My name is Jamie. We're here in Seward, Alaska on the, uh, the outwash floodplain of Exit Glacier. And this is my 1984 Ford Ranger Roll Along. It's a uh, aftermarket conversion for uh, Roll Along Vans Incorporated. I believe they're out of California. And like I said, it's a 1984 model. And I believe they made them from late 70s to at least 80, 1985. That's the last uh, example I could find on, uh, on the internet. But I wanted to uh, take the time to have it documented because it, you don't see too many of these. And uh, my buddy Chris here, we've, we've done some uh, interviews in the past and I thought it'd be just a great idea to do it. But some basics on it, it's a uh, V6, a 2.9 liter V6. It has a five speed manual transmission. It's a two wheel drive and it has dual rear wheels. The bed uh, could probably be transferred to a newer model because the, uh, I got underneath there and was looking at it and the way it's set up, it just would you know pop straight off. It has dual batteries, one for the, the engine and one for the rear. And something that I found pretty interesting, <laughs> I pulled the battery out and it would still crank up using the juice off of the back battery, which is uh, a bit unusual as far as RVs go, as far as the ones I've been associated with at least. It does have a, an extendable top that goes up probably about two feet. It's got the dual, dual windows on the side on both sides. I have seen some versions that have a, uh, uh, like a, a shower facility in it, a toilet, and also a, like a propane heater. It has dual gas tanks. And uh, that's one of the reasons I was able to I picked this up in the first place is I, uh, I was looking for a winter project and I stumbled across, across this uh, particular vehicle and it wouldn't run. So I was like, well, that's perfect. That's something I can mess with over the winter. Well, I, I played around with it a little bit and apparently the uh, uh, electric uh, uh, fuel selection uh, manifold is, is, was out. So I, fl I flipped the tanks a couple of times, it cranked right up, I drove it out. <laughs> so it is the Ford Ranger. Uh, it's missing the emblem on this side, of course. It's the actual cab, it hasn't been cut. It's still got the sheet metal right here. So this sits on top of it. So I guess there would be a cab over, what they call a cab over. Again, we got the dual rear wheels. It still has the uh, manufacturer's uh, stamp uh, from rolling. I think it's uh, Roll Along Vans Incorporated. So you got the rear tank. Then you have your uh, onboard water tank, which is probably about a, I'd say five gallon tank on, on board. And there's a little small sink, you'll see that later. And then the front tank, of course. And then on this side, we got the beautiful Ranger badging. Pinstripes, baby, that's so 1980s. <laughs> all right so we'll get on the inside so it's a little tight right now because uh, we have the top down but as soon as you enter the through the rear there's a room right here that is uh for your your uh, porta potty it probably could be used as a closet as well there's a double closet right here which you could probably put uh i don't know probably you probably hang about 12 things in there 15 things in there the battery bank is at the bottom and there's a, a fuse box for your uh, internal electronics. You have another double uh, wardrobe or closet. The, the uh, water tank is down there. And next to that they have another storage for like kitchen utensils and stuff. Then on the other side, some more storage area. Underneath these seats. There is storage, the same on each side. There's double couches here. All right, to show you the rest, we'll raise the top up and uh, show you what other goodies we got hidden. And so I just grab it. There's the handle on each side right here. And you just put a little, whoop. well, maybe not. <laughs> but it's spring loaded, two big springs. It's better if you're perfectly level when you're, when you're lifting it. They do have, for stability, they have these straps. They kind of pull at four different points to keep it uh, stable. There are three windows. There's one forward, two aft, 
and uh, they just roll up and down and they're velcro and they zip got a couple lights right here for counter space underneath the driver's side cabinet you have a ice ice chest or ice box and you have a sink it's a little dirty i need to clean up underneath there but some basic stuff for keeping your your hygiene <laughs> a little a little on point there on the on the passenger side you have a two burner stove looking forward of course you have your uh, two couches here there's a pole system in place to make a bed out of these two and then you have your your cab over area right here you could probably store store a good bit of stuff up there maybe a little kid could sleep up there but i don't think an adult could i mean we could try it but yeah that ain't happening all right so here we are in the cockpit of the uh 1984 ford ranger not a lot's changed <laughs> and 30 years of making these vehicles. Uh, but we'll crank her up. Like I said, it's a five speed manual. It's got the basics, fuel, your, uh, your uh, electrical temp and oil pressure, speedometer, and then your full uh, panel for your air control, temperature control. But these seats are like wrap around super comfortable. <laughs> they have a uh, if, uh, this stuff to inflate, deflate for lumbar, lumbar support, but it's really not a bad ride considering uh, how consolidated the space is up front. And the little six cylinder just purrs. 